Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I'm here with my son and uh, we are walking through Harbor Freight and we're taking a look at some of the cool items. Definitely a couple items I haven't seen before. Let's go ahead and take a look and explore some of these new options here at your local Harbor Freight. Alright, I guess let's go ahead and get started. You guys have seen me do videos. I keep one of these in my portable tool bag all the time. It's got what appear to be socket holders and definitely some spots for fasteners. This is fantastic for out in the field. But look at this guy. This is a new one. Small ultra grip flexible parts tray. The cool thing is it's got a spot for all your favorite bits. And now how often are you taking things apart? You're using multiple bits. You can lay them all out here and it's got the notches so you can lay out your mini screwdrivers as well. Keeps them all nice and organized. Multiple trays. I dig it. This is definitely going home with me. Let me show you guys this. 30 foot retractable test leads. Now, there's been many times where I've been testing batteries and whatnot and I have had to use expandable test leads. Even with my uh, DC regulated power supply, if you want to test a circuit inside a device with a DC regulated power supply, I have to create something, something crazy in order to make that happen. No longer expandable uh, test leads. They retract back into this disc when you're done. And they appear to be a pretty good gauge. You see that? It looks like it's 16, 18 gauge wire. Does it say on here? Hmm, 18 gauge, right there. Okay, 18 gauge wire. That's a good deal, 30 foot. Now I can actually hook up something to my regulated DC power supply and run these test leads all the way down to the component, which could be way over there, to test it. Instead of removing something from a piece of medical equipment or from a device, I can just uh, run this guy down to my testing field. Super cool, I'll do a video on that later. Check out this guy. $599. Interesting. Now, I, I don't believe I've covered this one before. I've never seen this one. It's got a deep basin, favorite screwdriver holder. It's got a rather deep top drawer, although it's only, it's only one single roller bearing. And that one single roller bearing means that it probably only has a 50 to 100 pound capability. But these ones down here, I don't know if you can see it underneath. There is a gripper. So in order to open these, you kind of have to you move it off to the side. There it goes, and they open. So what I'm doing is I'm activating those latches down here. Now those can be kind of annoying, but if you are moving this guy around very much, that is a huge plus. Now I might be thinking if this was stationary, I'd want those removed, but I'm sure that we could deactivate them kind of cool but at $599 it's also got a back plug this is where you'd run your electrical through remove that fastener your electrical comes in and out and look at this guy you can lock and unlock the toolbox from right there $599 it's got the bump strips it's got the push bar this is one cool cool toolbox many drawers bottom drawer is extra deep oh yeah and this one's got the double bearings so the when the double slides it can handle a lot more weight build quality is actually pretty good and I'm also seeing that it comes with the the drawer liner already pre-installed I like it anyway guys that's the US general and that's the 34 inch full bank service card. Kind of a cool offering. <sighs> anyway guys, I'm still walking through, still exploring some of the cool stuff over here at Harbor Freight. I need some new LED lights because for my studio, a couple of mine broke and I hear that there's a couple new lights that they're now offering here. So mine are single bank LEDs, now they have dual bank LEDs like your traditional fluorescent lights that you see like they got two T8 or T12 bulbs. You have now dual bank LEDs, which obviously give off more light. And uh, from what I see, they're a little more rugged, I hope. Anyway guys, hope you like this video. I'm touring Harbor Freight. If I find something else, maybe I'll add on to this video. Maybe I'll do a part two, we'll see. 